Hey guys, Rob Ford here, Principal Technologies with Meriplex, and I'm also here with David Turner, our Technical Program Manager, and we're going to be talking to you today about our uh, communication and collaboration uh, services for remote workers. Um, so we're now a couple of weeks into this transition uh, from you know working at an office to uh, working remotely. A lot of companies have sent workers home from you know sales folks to building folks and um, other types of operations and sales folks and and a lot of these people are working from home now and it's new it's a new it's a new uh, way of working for a lot of folks and uh, companies are now starting to realize that there's some gaps in their collab in their current collaboration solution um, even to the point to where um, some of their folks are having to use cell phones to communicate with with employees with customers and even with vendors and so, you know, due to those you know, those gaps uh, in their current collaboration solutions, companies are now starting to look at other types of services that they can leverage to fill some of those gaps uh, as soon as possible. So that way their users can, uh, number one, co communicate effectively with their colleagues across a secure solution um, that's that's on net to their to their corporate network and also communicating with their vendors and customers in a secure manner um, and, and also making sure that that traffic uh, is not only secure, but also it, it is stable um, and able to to clearly uh, get across the network. Thanks, Robert. And so with with these users starting to work from home, we're seeing some challenges. And some of the challenges are, are pretty basic stuff. So you have the receptionist. The receptionist is used to being in the office, answering calls, transferring calls with their on-prem PBX system. You know, being able to see you know, you know, uh, present status. So usually the the receptionist will have a, a phone with a, a large phone with the the status of all the users on it. Now that that receptionist is having to work from home, there's uh, some gaps in that solution. So a lot of the systems aren't aren't voice over IP ready, or there's no network connectivity so that the the phones can connect back to their on-prem system. So some of the challenges with the receptionist are again not being able to answer inbound calls, not being able to see the present status, and not being able to forward and transfer calls to to their uh, colleagues. We're also seeing uh, challenges in the contact center side. So most of these contact centers are still having to be open. So, you know, for large uh, contact centers in, let's say, uh, uh, banking industries or credit cards or whatnot, customers still need access and need to be able to call in and, and, and you know, check, you know, mortgage companies and whatnot. So they need to be able to call in and, and check status. Um, but a lot of these contact center agents are not able to to go to work every day, so they're not able to sit in that desk and log in. So there's been some challenges there. So it's been hard to keep a full, a fully staffed contact center. Uh, a lot of times there's lack of call recording. A lot of the call recording solutions are on-prem, so if those call, if the calls are not going to the on-prem site, those calls aren't being recorded, and the supervisors have lack of visibility. And then again, with just typical mobility, so your, your typical users, like your sales users, maybe your, your back office um, admins, billing, whatnot, it's been very, very challenging, as Robert said, where, where a lot of customers are having to use their cell phones. And that presents a problem if, if you're calling a customer they're normally used to seeing your caller ID coming from your office number, and now you're calling from a random cell phone. They don't know who you are. So there's been challenges, you know, engaging customers and, uh, you know, just, just limited features as well. So being able to, you know, historically, you'd be able to stand up and go walk to, you, to your colleague and ask a question. You don't have that option anymore. So you have to have some additional forms of communication to make sure everyone stays engaged. With the receptionist, so what we have is we have a, a UCAS solution that, that solves these challenges. And one of them is with the receptionist. So the receptionist is able to answer the calls remotely. And whether that's taking a physical phone home, whether that's a soft phone, or whether that's our operator panel, the receptionist can certainly answer the calls just like the receptionist was in the office. So there's several ways to do that. Um, so we can have with an operator panel, we can drag and drop calls to, to your colleagues. The receptionist will have full visibility to all users, so the receptionist will be able to determine whether one of the users is on the phone. They'll be able to determine if they're busy in a meeting and can still conduct business. 
as well as when they make outbound calls, they can call out as if they were calling for, from the company so that nothing changes. So you can basically um, you know, have, the, have the front that the receptionist is still there at the office working, although that receptionist may be anywhere, maybe at their house, whatnot. Mm-hmm. So. No, absolutely. And, and, and that's a great point, David. <clears throat> a, lot of re- a lot of businesses now still uh, have receptionists fielding a lot of the inbound calls into the business and that receptionist is responsible in a lot of cases routing those calls to different departments so this is the perfect solution for a company who operates in that manner who who needs to you know take inbound calls and and, and route those calls accordingly correct and we've also seen some of that being replaced with an ivr too so maybe they don't mm-hmm. want to have the receptionist taking calls so we can have an ivr the ivr is still tied into all the other uh phones so if you call in, you get a greeting, you can hit a button, maybe do a dial by name, and then re- try to reach the, the correct user department that you're, you're trying to hit. Challenges with the contact center that we talked about is, is basically not being able to have visibility and, and even you know, so much as the agents, since they can't get to the office, they can't, they can't take calls. With, with our solution, agents can log in from anywhere they can log in from any phone so we've you know in in certain scenarios where maybe the the uh the agent doesn't have a soft phone at home or doesn't have a physical phone they could actually log in with their cell phone number so it's not tied into a specific number but they can log in and have full communication and full access um, and and take calls as if they were at the office with that you get full call recording you can collaborate with the other team members You'll have full supervisor reporting and statistics, and your supervisors still have full visibility of of the uh, of what their agents are doing. So they'll be able to see all the stats. They'll be able to listen in on calls. So you can the whisper feature where they listen in on calls, monitor them. They can barge in and and conference themselves into a call, etc. And this works on um, you know either a client based solution or a web based agent option as well. So that way, if this you know if you have to have a user go home quickly and maybe they're using a home computer. There's nothing to install. You can still log in from a web-based agent. Yeah, that's right. And as we mentioned at the top of the call, because because of the trends, the, the quick transition uh, to a work from home uh, solution, um, cell phone uh, traffic outside of a, a uh, outside of a contact center solution or UC solution, you can't you can't bring those calls into the contact center, and then you you can't also you can't report against the phone the phone calls you know, going in and out of that that user's uh, cell phone, right? So it makes it incredibly difficult from a tracking, from a feature standpoint, uh, from a reporting standpoint to control calls coming into a cell phone. And that's why this solution is important. As David mentioned, it, it's it's set up to be to be delivered, you know, if a user is at is working from the office or if they're remote. Um, but the, the entire solution is built around the contact center to be able to do the reporting, to give the, you the supervisor uh, access and statistics, to be able to give you the, the features uh, for the team members and those types of things, including call recording. And the last challenge that we talked about is, is mobility. So this is your, your everyday users. So the challenges they're having, again, is that they, they might not have a soft phone. They might not have a physical phone at home, and they're having to use their cell phones. So with our solution, basically, they can be tied in to the phone system from anywhere, whether they're, they're from their cell phone um, with an app on the phone, whether they have a physical phone that they take home and plug in and can communicate to, to our platform from anywhere, or whether they have the soft phone on their laptop. From here, they get all the the features. So they'll have video conferencing. They can schedule meetings, multi-party video conferencing. Um, you'll have full UC feature set that's easy to program. So that includes chat features. But basically, this provides the platform for you to be able to to really truly work from home and be successful and communicate with your colleagues, whether they're you know whether they're your colleagues that work with you or whether they're external customers. No, absolutely. And, and this this mobility piece is a piece that you would need, right? As David mentioned, this is the time for the cell phones, for the mobile phones, right? Uh, Android uh, 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 platforms as well as you know iPhone, right? When you have those users that are remote that do decide to use their cell phones, they need to be a part of the UC slash contact center solution, right? And that's what these features and capabilities allow um, you as a customer to bring your users 
and your your agents into a unified um, UCAS solution. So from a UCAS perspective, UCAS by Mariplex includes uh, some of the things that David's touched on already. It includes a soft phone. There's also a chat client. Um, it ha also has uh, capabilities for video conferencing. Um, and uh, there's also a user portal where uh, users are have the ability to go in and create speed dials and do password resets um, and, and, and be able to do call forwards and those types of features directly from the user portal without open, having to open a ticket with one of the admins or, or, or with, uh, with Mariplex directly. Um, and then also the, this UCAS solution by Mariplex, it's also really fast to deploy, right? So if you have users that are already, um, already working from home, working remotely, if they're using a, a legacy soft phone solution or UC solution, or if they're using their cell phone, we can quickly and easily replace their current um, solution with our UCAS solution by Mariplex. Yeah, and to add on top of that, Robert, so the other piece to that is that, you know, we can break out these solutions so that we can go through the UCAS solution itself. We can, you can go with the contact center solution itself, or you can go with the multi-party, you know, vi video and web conferencing solution itself, or we can package them all together. So you don't have to go for all the solutions. We can package these and kind of tailor these to, to your needs. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, David. And so to kind of summarize it up, uh, the uh, the Mariplex uh, UCAS solution, uh, you know, it, it's it's a robust solution, uh, includes a, a, a rich set of features um, for um, users who are working remotely. Um, also, for long term, when you have users going back into the office to work again, when this whole situation is over, this solution scales across both of those types of environments. Um, and then also um, the, the ease of deployment, along with uh, some of the additional features that David's touched on already, makes it a, a, a really nice service to have and to deploy out to your end users. Um, if you have any questions or, uh, or if you'd like to see a demo of this solution, you can reach out to me, Rob Ford, um, at rford at mariplex.com, and uh, we're happy to, uh, to, to answer any questions and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thanks, Robert.